Hey guys, it's M1 Warhead with WarheadDesigns.com. Now, if you're like me, you completely hate Unity's GUI system. I just despise it, okay? I tried to use it and couldn't even figure it out. It's just, it's nonsense. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure this has already been done, but I have figured out a way to, you know, pretty much make like almost like a Zelda kind of health. Now, I didn't get too in-depth with it. That's up to you if you want to be creative like that. But what I have done was... See these two boxes up here at the top? Now, i got to fix them because they ain't colored right. But, um... I made it act as if it was actually real health. Now, it does work with the health system, but it's not really health. It's just something there. Now, I will explain this to y'all. I want to show you real quick what I'm talking about. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and hit play. As soon as it wants to play. Come on now. There we go. Alright, I got two boxes here. This one gives you health, and this one takes health away. <clears throat> Alright, let me go on this one time. Boom, as you can see, it took a health away. Go in here. Gotta wait a second. Oh, I guess I gotta fix that one. I might have messed up. But it's supposed to give you health. I have to check it out, I guess. Let me just go through it a couple more times. Okay, well, we'll fix that. Alright, but as you can see, it took one of the boxes away. And we will fix that or it'll give us another box for health again. But alright, let's check out what I've done. <coughs> alright. Let's go down here to the hierarchy. And as you can see, I got a first person controller, which I do not recommend using unless, well, that's what you want. I prefer to make my own controller. But, anyways, um, alright. As you can see, I got main camera, but then I made another camera with two cubes attached, okay? Each cube is one of our healths. Okay, well, whatever you want to call it, part of your HUD. Okay, I can move it around, you know, as you can see at the top right of the screen. But I don't want to do that. Alright, but what I did was I copied the camera with Control C and then hit Control D to, you know, make another one. Okay, and um, as you can see, I named it Depth Camera. So that way I can distinguish what it is. Well, let's go into the properties. Alright. As you can see, I got the clear flag set to depth only. That so it only sees whatever I have in the layers to distinguish what I want to show on top of everything else. If that makes any sense. But it don't just work at first. You have to set it up that way. <coughs> Normally, the size would be I think 1,000. Well, you can't see nothing. It's there, but you just can't see it. Well, change it to one. Make sure it's orthographic, because projection, as you can see, it just moved these just a little bit. See what? Watch the top left. See, they just barely move. That's because perspective view, it doesn't look at it straight on. It just looks at it from the center of the screen, and it goes outwards. And whatever's in its path, it'll see. Now, you don't always get a perfect view like that. See, watch. Let me see if I can do something real quick. I'm going to... Um, scale these boxes. Okay. Well, oh, they want to do that. Just want to scale you. Let's see, scale. Yeah. See, if you scale it, you can see it's all like boxy looking over here. Now, if I change it to orthographic, it should fix that. Oh, let's drag you over. Should. Yep. See. That's why I use orthographic, because now it's just, well, you know, perfect, I guess. Let's see, let's change it back so you know I'm not lying. Alright, well, I'm just going to leave the box the way it is. There ain't no reason to change it, because it ain't going to make no difference. Okay, now let's look at the scripts I've made. I've made just a couple scripts, nothing too hard. I've already loaded them all up, so... It's pretty simple to look at. Oh, it's trying to load now. 
Okay. Let's start off with the basic one first. Your health. Okay. Well, here's your health. That, that's, that's all of it right there. Now I'm going to explain if people don't know how to make a health system. <clears throat> what I did was I set it up a public float of max health equals whatever number you want. I just default. I put it 60 for another game I was making. And I made another float called current health, but it's C-U-R just to make it short. And um, when I did the function start, which I know it says void, but I'm just saying function. Current health equals max health. Okay. That's pretty much whatever your max health is, that's what your current health is. Okay. And um, I made two more functions down here. I made these two right here. <coughs> Sorry about all my coughing. I've been up for a while. I'm tired. Okay. I made one called take damage. I know I added another E. That's just because I was just trying to hurry up. And I just copied pretty much this right here and just stuck it right here. What I wanted to do. But, um... Pretty much what this is doing is I'm calling a function take damage, which I'm really giving health, not giving damage. So, anyways, just remember that this gives health. Okay. This take. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, put my comment mark. This takes health. Okay. What I did was I called a function take damage on a float of amount. So whatever my float is, and I'll I'll get back to these two parts here shortly. But um, that way you can understand this better. And then pretty much whenever your current health is equal to or less than zero, you're going to call it a function die, and it kills your game object and sends a debug log. No big deal. Whatever. All right. Let's see here. What script? Let's do kill. Okay. This is for, um, let me minimize this. Let's see if my mouse wants to work. It's been messing up lately. Okay. Alright, we got these two boxes down here. We got this one, and we got this one. This is the one that takes your health, and that's the script I got on it for take damage of two. Okay. Now, let's go back to the script. I just want to let y'all know. Oh, yeah, um... Make sure they're both these boxes are triggers, okay? Now, you can make a collision if you want, but anyways, yeah. Okay, open the script back up. <clears throat> okay, we made a public float of damage, okay? Now, if you saw in the inspector, I had it set to 2. It's a public, so we can change it in the inspector. Okay, now, we got a on trigger enter. Make sure it's a collider, and just name whatever you want to put in here. If COL, which is our collision that we want to set up, is the game object with the tag of player, and then if it has if it has the tag of player, get the player's get component basic health, which is the name of our script for our health. Then we're going to call take damage, which is in the script of this one take damage then we're gonna do add H okay no we're in the wrong one same thing that just changed the things around okay take damage actually we were in the right one anyways okay take damage then we're gonna call our public float that we called up here or declared remember the one in the inspector called two but yeah okay Pretty much what this does is, whenever it accesses the, a tag that has the person player on it, it's going to call this damage, and it's pretty much going to, to make this in layman's terms, it's going to access this script, and it's going to take 100 health, if that makes sense. Why they got to make it work like this, don't know, but that's how it works. Okay. That kills our player. It takes the damage. Okay. Now, remember these two boxes up here? They're literally just boxes. You can make transparent images. Don't matter. Now, as you can probably see, unless I've changed it already, let me start up the game. 
Yeah, see, it lights up and gets dark. We will fix that in a moment. But one thing I do want to point out. Remember I was talking about the depth camera and stuff? Okay. See the, um, the um, view on the left? I'm looking up and down with it. Technically, it's really an object in 3D space. It still is. But the depth camera makes it to where, even though it goes inside this box right here, it's actually in the box. I still see it as if it's not. It's literally, like, rendered in front of everything. And I'll explain how I got that set up in just a moment after I finish these scripts. But we're about to get onto the script now of our damage. Okay. As you can see, there's two boxes. Do that, and one goes away. If I had to keep doing it, oh, see? The other one's gone now. Oh, it does work. Okay, see? I got my box back. I half forgot I had it set up for only that one box. Okay. Now we're going to start talking about our boxes. Or health, whatever you want to call it. Okay. We're going to go to the first one, HUD health. Alright, what we did was we made a script, well we didn't make the script, we're going to access our our health, it could be whatever you call your health script, but we're accessing the health, and we're going to name it something inside of this script, we just named it health script, pretty much you can delete start, we don't need that obviously, <clears throat> alright, what I did was, I put in the update function, if health script, which is our script we declared right here for our health, dot current health which is cur which is you know our float inside of our health script is less than or equal to nine okay and then it's going to disable the render so pretty much it just makes it disappear it doesn't really destroy you can make it destroy it but that's not what i'm trying to do in case i want it to come back okay now what this means for the absolute beginner this is a numerical value for your health okay like most people might have a hundred health to make it simpler if it's less than or equal to 90 get rid of this one heart if it's greater than or equal to 90 then make it come back okay and it's that simple this is a lot easier than freaking the GUI system in unity I mean just disable the renderer and then if I'll show you in the next script. That's the one I have it set to to make it come back. Same thing, just here it is right here. I just put an else statement. Else, if health script dot current health is greater than or equal to six, enable the mesh renderer again. That's for that one that came back. Okay, it's not that hard to understand. I hope. Again, we can delete the start. I mean, it's very basic coding. It's limited stuff. But, there's one thing that I do need to show y'all. Um, one thing that I didn't understand at first is how to actually access our health. Because normally what, what the most basic person would think is, watch this. Okay. Um, which one is it I need? Oh yeah, it's my cube. Okay, I just accessed one of the cubes, no big deal. Okay. Well, you would think, okay, I gotta put my health script on here. It don't work. Well, as you can see, it already says first person controller. But what we're going to do is we're going to drag our main, you know, wherever our health is at. As you can see, it's on our first person controller. It can be on anything. Whatever it's on, the parented object, just drag it to the thing. Drag it into, you know, um, let's go back to another box again real quick. Just drag it into your health script spot. And then, as you can see, if you can see it, there's a little C sharp right there, script file. Okay. And um, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. I'll just go um, over how where you put the script setting in. Alright, first person controller gets the health. Okay. Just leave the current health at zero because whatever you whenever you start the game, let's say I set the health to one thousand. This is automatically gonna go to one thousand. No biggie. Okay. Now, this one, we attach the kill script, which was um, the one that just takes damage. 
then for the next box this one right here we attach the add health script which is this one right here instead of it's the same oh what I do I accidentally shut it oops <coughs> sorry about that it's loading it again <laughs> That it's taking forever. I don't know why it does this. I didn't even shut my develop off. Alright. Okay. Same thing as the damage script. As you can see, it's the same thing. Just changed a couple keywords around. Instead of doing damage, I did add H. Same concept if the game object has a tag of player, access to get component of health, which is our basic health script. Then it's the take damn itch with an extra E on the end. Remember how I made the other E? That you can name it whatever you want. You can make it add health, whatever. I just added an extra E to make things simpler with time. Okay. Same thing as the damage. It just instead of subtracting current health, it just adds. Okay. But um, where's it at? Okay. Yeah. Then it, it does our add H flute and adds a hundred health just to make things simple okay well for each cube we attach like this one right here the first one we're going to attach the first health script and then the next one we're going to attach this health script I mean yeah there's a couple more scripts involved with your health and stuff but I mean <clears throat> It's still a lot more simpler if you ask me. Now let's go into fixing our problem with our lighting up here. It's not that bad of a problem. I'm just going to go into my inspector. Well, not inspector, but my scene view. Select both of them with holding control and clicking. Yeah, okay. Now, I don't know if there's any other way to fix this problem, but, um... <coughs> Normally, whenever you create something, you just can't select the texture you want. You have to drag a texture into it. Like, I can't just change the color. Well, to make things simple so y'all understand how to do this, this is going to go to Character Controller Sources, Prototype, Textures, and just drag a texture on it. That, that's it. I've already done that, though. Okay. Normally, for health, you want to do you know, um, transparent, cut out, and just do like diffuse or whatever, because it makes the trans, the alpha and the transparencies work, but this obviously isn't the right texture, I'm just using a normal map just for testing, but, um, okay, let's go to unlit, for this purpose anyways, and just select texture. Now, as you can see, I want to hit play. And there ain't no darkening on it now. It's just all, you know, there. It's perfect, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. <laughs> take health. Take health. Give health. Okay. Now, to prove that I actually die, let me just go back. So y'all know the health script works. It, I have it set to less hearts than I do health. But go in there a couple more times. <clears throat> Boom. Dead. Okay. That should be all. If um, y'all have any problems, just leave a comment. And I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible on how to fix it. I will be uploading all these scripts to Pastebin so you can have access to them. I know I probably made this a lot longer than it should have been, but I really wanted to make sure y'all actually understood what I was doing. Now, I mean, nothing's perfect. I might have done something differently than the way you would, but hey, this it's your game. You do it the way you want, but I figured I would help as much as I could. Alrighty, leave comments, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Alright, guys. Bye.